a degree from the University of Edinburgh. If you had to name one man more than any other who contributed most to the breakup of Federation, who would that man be? Well, I have no hesitation in saying it's Mr. I give the palm to Mr. Harold Macmillan as Prime Minister of the present uh, British government. I think that his winds of change speech, the fact that he let Africa go, the fact that he's betrayed the white man up and down this continent, all indicate that he uh, fully deserves uh, the title as the man who's played the biggest part. He ahead even of Dr. Bander? Well, I think uh, Dr. Bander has acted according to his lights and was a symptom of the times, but uh, I still give the palm to Mr. Macmillan because of a change of policy, a complete reversal of policy. Now, the gradual disintegration of the Federation, mild posted by uh, such events as the Nyasaland emergency, the Moncton Commission and the granting of Nyasaland's right to secede, has brought a number of charges by you about the lack of moral fibre of the British government, the extremist evils of nationalism and the dangers of communism. Uh, do you still, here and now, stand by those convictions? I don't go back on a single word that I've ever said about all these issues, and I think that events around us are not only proving me right, but I think as the days go on, will prove me more and more right. And I regret to have to say it. Possible haste following a decision by...